their 3v3 faction war Argus Desert Gate Orcs vs Eldar Blue Team. We have Wild Bold, the handsome version apparently, playing a war boss, fights melee, walks through cover, good damage, disruption and support from the front lines. Alongside Taurion as a commander knob, infiltrating commander, fights range to start off, can get a melee weapon, good damage output and make things go boom and other sneaky orc tricks. Sneakers Picus rounds out blue team as a mech teleporting commander fights range puts out some nice damage can also support repair and put up some structures but he's not the toughest little orc. Red team Darks plays an Eldar Farseer support commander fights melee lots of buffs and debuffs and can put up some offense as well this is Orthway DLC. Regent is a warp spider exarch teleporting commander fights range to start off good at harassing map control and crowd control too. Rounding out red team we have Potter playing an Eldar Warlock. Offensive melee, good mobility with fleet, can also tank and disrupt really well. East side we see this contested VP, usually 4 over by 4 players and it looks like that's what we're going to see at the start of the game here. Tons of guardians on the field, triple guardians for both Darks and Regent. There goes a stun bomb and stuns a whole bunch of stuff that was the starting ability of the commander knob. You see him weighing fire in there with that twin link shooter of his which puts out some pretty sweet DPS. Eldar Warlock forced off. A plasma grenade already thrown out by Potter given to them by their battle equipment. Warboss getting in amongst the guardians and chucking them aside with sync kills. 463 500 tying up these guardians where possible regent kiting away now here comes the commander dog what is he up to he is throwing a whole bunch of stick bombs good grief already has his stick bombs that's his accessory can wipe squads especially when he's sneaky with it like that most likely gonna see at least one ranger squad then to spot that commander knob 447 500 and Orcs pushing back Elder on the east side. Warboss does retreat. And Red Team might get their power harassed here. Farseer went down on the west side. We did have some connection issues which really affected Darks in this game. Darks has triple guardians and now a shuriken cannon platform. Setup team that suppresses. Quite maneuverable for a setup team. Has rebought his Farseer. 435 500 Orcs take the east side also have their natural in the south Eldar have a natural in the north and these two central resource points untouched Orcs have noted this contested west power now being shut up by Eldar Sneakers Picus looks like he went back to reinforce a bit has electric armor for the mech really really nasty damage potential against light infantry like this 435, 482, a 2 to 1 for the orcs they have a little bit of VP to make up Potter now bringing his warlock back to the center has some rangers on the field and looks like he's getting double rangers worked really nicely in pairs constantly bleeding these orcs Shuriken can kind of sit up here comes the war boss. He's now angry with angry bits. Charges right into the shuriken. It's not a setup team counter by itself, but if you can get in without being shot, you can really disrupt the setup team. There's a stomp. Didn't hit much, and he's forced off, and the war boss will surely go down and does. Here comes the warlock capping east side. Is the warp sort of exarch stuck or something? He's not moving here. Darks pushed back by Sneakers Picus. Sneakers Picus with double shooters and both with their big shooters allows them to suppress, boosting their general DPS as well. 435, 450, all kicking off in the east side again. An excellent long range destructor from Pot Up. Might see the merciless Switchblade so he can disrupt and pin back the war boss 435 450 still but Eldar 
will take the east side and now they need to push power if they can have forced off the orcs completely we have a shuriken cannon on the field for regent of course webway gate already up looks like that is an Eldar Farseer's webway gate since it's infiltrated 433-450 now sneakers peekers rebuilding that node we have a guardian shield up here tier 2 for wild bold and sneakers peekers quite quickly what is that 4-5 minutes Potter debating whether to decap this wreck point but here come the orcs uses destructor and then fleet to tie up these shooters need some support though rangers weighing in with fire from long range bleeding orcs with every shot boom wiped those shooter boys of wild bold ouch shuriken now will try and yep suppress the war boss who's leading the line very well here is forced off though here comes the commander knob he's trying to infiltrate but being spotted by the rangers who are a detector unit and there is the stick bomb i think the shield will block most of the damage yes 417 438 commander knob runs away we have shooters here for taurion with big shooters and their knob leader Darks starting to push back on the west side, decapping power, sending the Shuriken Cannon back to reinforce, has taken down the mech boy. 417, 426. Rangers are infiltrated, we have Pathfinder gear on this squad. Do we have it on both? No, just one. Allows you to infiltrate a group of allies. And they are bleeding these orcs. Taurion not noticing finally does and retreats them and they get away would have wiped that squad there Eldar having to retake their natural looks like some sneaky slugger boys took it Orcs have this central power and the central wreck point reasonably even tier 1 going into tier 2 Taurion gets some stick bombers on the field sneakers peekers a weird boy and now a war truck up against Darks Darks will most likely get the singing spear when he spots that war truck perhaps might wait instead for warp spiders I don't think he'll get wraith guard since the mech boy can just teleport in and tie them up death dread on the field for wild bold really nice melee walker and look at the range on that special attack took out the shuriken cannon of regent already has its burners and bits making it a bit tougher and giving it those burners which as you can see absolutely own generators two bursts and they are down there we go relatively cheap and no slouch in melee those death dreads if you get them out quickly before there are vehicle counters they can cause a lot of havoc we might see power blades from the warp spider start to try and deal with it out big shotgun blast from the special shooter almost give those guardians commander knob levels to three now under some pressure though guardian fire and warp spider x up coming in for melee stick bombs dodged by regen a whole bunch of sluggers were just owned by something probably a grenade from Potter he's so good with plasma grenades there go some stun bombs I believe no they are stick bombs from the stick bombers they can throw stun bombs as well which will actually stun vehicles also since the orcs don't have a vehicle snare otherwise I think the mech boys war banner stuns vehicles actually we have sneakers peekers pushing back on this west side with that war truck now has some fully upgraded sluggers which are very dangerous when supported by a war truck weird boy weighing in with that artillery fire sub commander for orcs here comes darks he's going tier 2 last very late i think he lost a shuriken cannon in tier 1 thanks to another lag spike I was watching this game as it was going on 398371 Eldar taking the Eastern VP Regent does have power blades you can tell from the hammer icon giving him some melee heavy weapons Orcs forcing off the Eldar again on the west side 
sluggers pushing the action again need to be very careful of plasma grenades as they run in though Eldar Farsi and now taking on the mech boy in a fist fight mech boy might go down here and I think he will Darks takes down sneakers peekers again Orcs having to retake their natural is a triple for the Eldar but can they deal with knobs in tier 3 that is going to be the huge question Potter has walked through we might see him go for the Witchblade of Kurnus and Providence to try and deal with knobs Potter coming over and reinforcing darks forcing off the shooters here come some stick bombers the commander knobs over here though making himself a nuisance the Farsian now does have the singing spear really nice heavy melee weapon for her forcing off stick bombers and the warlock trying to harass the commander knob orcs pushing the east side though we have a power clawed war boss now ridiculous melee weapon versus all targets look at the size of the thing he's going after the warp side of Rexarch who teleports away taking out guardians in retreat and this death dread is still going level 2 they have not spotted this webway gate though Eldar should be forced back on the west side I think up against a weird boy and a war truck Darks using his spirit stones to heal up this blob now has some warp spiders and they have their aspect so that war truck is going to be in big trouble it's going to get stunned or snared by the haywire grenade and then the Farseer is going to come in and here we see it Farseer going around for rear armor hits doing huge damage of each hit but there's a warp vomit saving the war truck Farseer goes down war truck gets away with 11 hit points here come sluggers can they catch the warp spiders in retreat nope they go off the guardians darks needs to re retreat these guys but they go down 272371 Eldar have a 2 to 1 bright lance on the field here from Potter Regent also has one has got another shuriken out too lost the first one to that death dread which is still stomping around can be repaired by sluggers of course Potter's warlock backing off from these shooters in go some stick bombs they are so dangerous actually fight melee I'm not sure how effective they are in melee stick bombs from the commander knob in retreat exploding stuff ouch bleeding those ranger model this is never nice for Eldar Dark's pushing back again on the west side here comes the mech boy with his electric armor first time I've seen it go off I'm sure it's gone off before what's the direct is here trying to help out and whip the mech boy quickly forced to retreat plasma grenades going off stick bombs coming in absolute chaos war truck is here what's the direct start trying to finish it off with rear armor hits from this power base and does so nicely done by regent 238371 here comes some more sluggers and stick bombers and shooters and a full retreat from the Eldar there not quite full we have some warp spiders can turn and engage those sluggers but the sluggers retreat anyway and Eldar lose this power war truck did go down though and sneakers peekers just has double shooters and a weird boy but he is tier 3 as are all of the orcs in fact and Taurion is getting a second knob squad on the field first one is here tier 3 elite infantry can go toe to toe with anything in the game 232 371 it's a one to one cap east side untaken war boss going after the shuriken doing so much damage regent needs to get this right lance out of there war, war boss does a special of that but still takes it out now suppressed though by the shuriken cannon taking tons of damage as it gets close west side warp bomb it stunned those warp spiders we have warlock leaders on both of those guardian squads you saw emboldened there darks now has double warp spiders eldar farseer is still down though 
Looks like Potter is waiting to re revive. Orcs have the central power even though it has two Eldar generators on it and here come knobs disrupted by kinetic shot. We I thought the final knob was gonna go down. Chucked his stun bomb stick bombers, sorry, which were dodged. Darks trying a grenade, but the knobs did not move there. We can have double knobs here. Red team will need a lot of suppression. Eldar Farseer back up. We have triple warp spiders from Darks. Some serious range firepower knobs though. Already have Mina and Greener what these guys do. The other squad do not, you can tell by the plus icon. Warp spiders for Regen also. Four warp spider squads on the field. Can they deal with the knobs though? We're gonna have a fourth knobs on the way from Sneaker Speakers. We have one from Wild Bolt, two from Taurion. And this is pretty much, I think, what the game is going to boil down to. Can the Eldar deal with the knobs? This Death Dread is still around. It's nearly level 3. And it might level after it takes this node down. 2-2 two, two on cap for the Orcs. They have some VPs to make up. And the Death Dread does level to 3. Now up to almost 1,200 hit points for such a cheap walker. That's pretty damn good. The cannon on the field for Potter, artillery unit that sets up huge range on that thing. Orcs though flooding the east side with knobs, a very angry war boss and a death dread. Are we gonna see entangling web perhaps from the walks of Rexark to try and control at least one knob squad? He still has the power plates right now. Guardians in retreat by knobs losing a model with every swing of those huge chain axes pretty much double guardians can't do much versus that death dread now backing off warp spiders pouring in as much damage as they can but here is frenzy from the knobs tricky kind of sets up frenzied knobs though cannot be suppressed but it wears off and they're taking a lot of damage but they are so durable they can just brute force their way into a setup team you pretty much need to double up your setup teams. I think there was a huge rocks here, but I missed it. Darks lost a bunch of walk spiders it looks like in that 232-290. Was it? Yes, most likely Megalorumbler into rocks and we all know how fun that is. Death Dread now coming into base and there's a rocks in base from Wild Bolt, I believe, largely Dodge did take out some Shuriki Cannon models. And the War Boss thrown into base by something is most likely going to go down here. Triple cap for the Orcs, and they are dominating the map. As you can see, the Nob Squads just absolutely decimate everything. Singularity by a D Cannon somewhere. There it is. Warlock runs away. Can the Eldar push out now? Battle wagon on the field for Taurion. I don't think they can. Stick bombs almost gibbing that Guardian squad. Good grief. Shotgun. Special shooter even. So dangerous also. As you can see it has a passive chance to knock back. Here come double knobs. And Eldritch Storm looks like it's going to largely miss those guys. They are frenzied anyway. I think that was by Potter. Darks unable to get into tier 3 after getting triple warp spiders. Only one of them still standing. Spirit, Spons Spirit Stones goes off. Level 4 Eldar Farseer. Level 3 Warp Spider X up. Level 3 Warlock. Level 7 War Boss down in the Eldar base. Taurion's Commander Knob level 6 and the Mech Boy level 4. More knobs on the way for Sneakers Peekers. Eldar are taking the east side. Here come some Orcs. Ouch. Nasty Ethereal Slash by Potter's Warlock. 
Witchblade of Kronos, as you can see, gives him the grenade icon. Sometimes used as a generic marker for AoE. Here comes the battle wagon, super unit for orcs, this is Taurions. And there's going to be a big zap shot for grief. You need to garrison it with two squads for all of its guns to fire. Without that, has the big zap gun still and can run stuff over. Knobs pushing still. These guys fully upgraded now with their hammers and their knob leader. Rangers need to flee. They use war just to make this assault even more dangerous. And those rangers are going to wipe. Down they go. 2 to 1 cap for orcs. Warlock of Potter fleeing from the east. Looks like the Eldar trying to push down the centre. They've completely lost the west side. And look at the unit difference. Pretty much all over for Eldar now. Was close until the knob squads hit the field and it just weren't equipped to deal with them at all. Autark dropped by a potter on the VP stopping the cap and putting some damage on those knobs. Now I think the Autark is gonna run fast to the south VP and decap it. Orcs just camped outside the Eldar's natural VP now. Shuriken cannon on the way for darks. A rocks right in base here. Line of sight given by the battle wagon completely gibbed one of those. I think it was a D cannon sat in there. Battle wagon does go down though, thanks to this singing spear. Autark, being very cheeky, has her shield up and is trying to cat this VP. Shooter boys. Pouring some Daka into her and she's gonna go down. No, retreats just in time, I think. There is the double cap for Orcs and they have taken this with five knobs on the field. There's not much you can do, I think, unless you're specifically set up to deal with that kind of ridiculous melee. Darks did struggle on the west side early game, perhaps. If he harassed his power a bit more, they wouldn't have been able to get those knobs out. Same with this central power which Orcs had for a lot of the game. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.